They are afraid. That is, today we check in with Niji Sanji English's Luka Kaneshiro. Earlier having a 70-page document released about him detailing past and present problematic behaviors. As further in this episode, Niji Sanji English's Pomu Rainpuff is back, now returning to her Made Mint account and joining V Shoujo's Matra Khan. As now back to Luka Kaneshiro, now seen here today on April Fools as Lucy Kaneshiro, having this past Friday being the subject of an extensive document that by way of Raziel Warmonic, a longtime moderator of Lucas, this document now being suppressed as after 20 hours of publication, Google Documents had removed it, stating it was in violation of the terms of service, with many suspecting this particular document had been targeted by mass reporting. Raziel confirming, I did not take down the document. It has been reported and forced to go offline. While I wait for a review, on it, here are other ways to access the document. Going on to provide a PDF version on Google Drive, alongside linking our video covering the document from Friday. Reading this document from beginning to end, and now having received a quarter of a million views. This video was released unmonetized on YouTube, and you can watch it in full with the link below. Raziel further sharing the file looks suspicious screenshot that she can see, saying, wow, I think this may be a first in Google Doc history. This does not dissuade me, however. Further now showing the reason given as to what was reported to Google for them to take the document down. Raziel Warmonic simply stating irony. Our previous read of this document being 52 minutes long, many over the weekend naturally asking for a summarized version, which we will now try to provide while rounding off the edges to remain palatable for YouTube. Again, it is highly recommended to simply watch the full version with the link below. Raziel introducing herself as a longtime friend and moderator of Luka Kaneshiro even before he was within Niji Sanji English. Luka at this time going beyond boundaries, requiring more boundaries to be set up between the two. Luka also confessing to be uncomfortable with quote-unquote alternative lifestyles, this still being the case as recently as one year ago. Luka also being caught creating alternative Twitter accounts to dissuade others from the Niji Sanji audition process while he was within the audition process himself. Further, there is the admission as to why Luca, prior to entering into Niji Sanji, had been removed from the GTA 5 NoPixel 3.0 RP server, racking up a number of infractions. As next, there was the Ring Fit Adventure incident. Luca now with a Niji Sanji English, but carrying no rules on his channel, leading to his moderators when trying to enforce rules to be targeted themselves. The document also had provided an example of Luca directly DMing a fan this fan then going to Twitter to show that they had been directly messaged. As further, Luca would also use a 3D avatar within VR chat against the modeler's rules, saying, I shouldn't even be using it because the company makes us one. This document also detailing the incident with the copyrighted music from Hololive, saying Luca has a habit of asking for forgiveness later instead of asking for permission, alongside antagonizing image boards, hiding a secret message within one of his tweets for those users. The document also detailing his antagonism against fellow Luxia member Ike Eveland, frustrated by what he perceived as Ike being vocal about his dislike of Luca on various streams. Further, with the original cancellation of AR Live, Luxium had gone on strike except for Luca, calling his wave mates childish and expressing how he and Alira Pandora would discuss the other livers' behaviors during this time. Luca would deny his moderator a contract for the other work that she had provided, this including extensive of tech support, claiming Luca rarely, if ever, prepared for streams, alongside detailing loads of uncredited work, including the Minecraft Disneyland, along with Raziel being caught by Pomo Rainpuff, as Luca Kaneshiro had provided his official Any Color email account. One of the major pieces of uncredited artwork included merchandise. Raziel providing the script for the Sakura Bloom 2023 voice pack, alongside the Luca Kaneshiro birthday 2023 voice pack, and even even making the handwritten message for Luka Kaneshiro. This continuing on as Raziel had also created the 1 million subscribers handwritten message. As further, there were concerns with any color and Niji Sanji management. Various internal documents being shared with Luka's moderator, who had no official connection with Niji Sanji at that time. Raziel confirming that the Niji Sanji English livers had received no PR training, as Luka had also received this message from Niji Sanji management saying, to be honest, I 
bet everything on Ian. If Ian had not succeeded, I would have been fired. So I am extremely grateful for your daily cooperation. Look, also revealing to Raziel that Nietzsche Fest 2022 would only feature Shu, Vox, and Mista of Luxium, but not Ike and Luca, to Luca's frustration. And at the cancellation of last year's AR Live event, it was confirmed that the Nietzsche Sanji Ingos Livers were given the same reason as the public for its postponement slash cancellation. Look at further detailing how in one instance where they had pushed back against management, this had allegedly caused one of the members of staff to start crying as they were not used to this form of pushback. It also being confirmed that the matching phone case of Luca that was caught on a hand cam stream was one case he owned alongside Raziel, not Renzoto, who had later claimed to have the other matching case. There are also other allegations regarding Nichisanji English's Aster Arcadia, as allegedly multiple girls were coming to Luca regarding Aster's behavior, and management with Nichisanji had refused to step in to do anything. Further, another allegation regarding Luca Kaneshiro himself and what prompted the publication of this document. Raziel being reached out to by a Nichisanji liver, stating Luca has done a lot of bad things, not just to you, so thank you for sharing your experience. A lot of people waited for you to tell the truth for a while because it had been an issue, so I'm happy you finally did. That summary only scratches the surface as to the in-depth details of this document. Once again, this document is still available on Google Drive as a PDF or available to be viewed here on YouTube with our video from last week. That is now we have further details regarding how Niji Sanji has tried to hide this story. The Niji Sanji subreddit this past weekend removing more posts than ever. And perhaps an even bigger surprise, even image boards removing posts about this story, bringing into question the moderation practices there, leading to posts like this one on r slash Niji Sanji, no one going to talk about Luca's situation, that post being removed, receiving replies like, we haven't been silent, the mods have just been deleting the posts when they're active and will likely throw this thread into the trash can too. Alongside this reminder that all the talents are also mods on r slash Niji Sanji, as we have other posts such as this one, how is Luca Kaneshiro not terminated yet? Others saying about the document, censorship is going hard with this one and involves some big money makers, so they don't want to lose that. Plus, more scandals and EN will probably require a corporate restructuring. Raziel Warmonic also providing this proof of the Discord name seen in the screenshots within the document, labeling themselves as Luca. Well, after the release of this document, other pieces of merchandise have received scrutiny, including these handwritten messages on Billy Billy and this two-year anniversary merchandise, which includes Luca's signature within a heart. Raziel Warmonic confirming to TBS that was originally made by Niji Sanji management, given to Luca, who then gave it to Raziel to trace. The signature used on multiple pieces of merchandise, and Raziel also claiming that this is not his handwriting, and that further, he does not have the abilities to even make the chibi Luca as seen underneath that handwriting. We also have the further confirmation regarding Niji Fest 2022 plans, involving all the members of Lazulite, Obsidia, Etheria, but only three of the five members of Loxium. Those being Shu Yumino, Vox Akuma, and Mysterious, as listed here, but excluding Luka Kaneshiro and Ike Evelyn. These two, in a twist of fate, now both opening up their pre-orders for their upcoming Nindoroids. Also still available and on Twitter is that tweet with a hidden message for the users of the image boards. The capital letters here in this tweet spelling out rent free. And the alternate Twitter accounts that Luka had used before getting into Niji Sanji, but trying to dissuade others from auditioning for Niji Sanji are still available. Look at making remarks such as these time and time again. And while auditioning for Niji Sanji, trying to dissuade others from auditioning, saying things like, if you have doubts, then you were never meant to do it. Alongside, guess you guys just weren't good no matter how much you say it's entertaining. Male VTubers at the moment is just not entertaining. They're more focused on complaining and being sad about being a male VTuber. 98% don't have the personality for it. We've yet to see a dominant individual male VTuber, and I can only name a couple that will take the spot soon. Adding, I have two friends that got their email two weeks and a half ago. Aside from that, they can't say anything else. If you haven't gotten anything, you didn't make it. This despite no emails being sent out at this time from Niji Sanji. This all once again, as Luca is a part of this Nendoroid merch push. Luka Kaneshiro also taking part in the Niji Sanji EN Mario Kart Special Battle event coming up later this week. This event having been delayed by two months, as Luca is also in other merchandise. That being for the 
upcoming Nijisanji AR Live event, originally announced and canceled 14 months ago, and now featuring four less talents as they have either graduated or been terminated. Many noticing the gaps in the cast space on the official website. This page simply using last year's design, but taking out one row and another liver. But in one of the more intriguing surprises was the fact that individual pieces of artwork could be looked up on the website simply by using the suffix of 01 through 19 and giving existing members like Alira Pandora, along with graduated members like Pomo Rainpuff, Nina Kosaka, and Mr. Rias. Those three not expected to take part in this event whatsoever. But regarding the file number that should have Selen Tatsuki, that being 04, that file has been outright removed, providing this 404 not found page. Ichisanji once again simply reusing all of the artwork from last year, but removing the livers who will not be taking part. As very minimally taking part will be Nijisanji English's Petra Gurren. Sending out this notice, AR Live is back. If Pentomos could read the following message for me, I would really appreciate it. Sorry, I couldn't find a way to fit it in the word limit, so I had to use an image. Thank you. This message reading, hello, I'm so happy to announce that AR Live is back. Thank you all so much for your patience. As you may already know, a portion of the concert had to be edited out of the final footage. Because the duration of my appearance was affected in particular by this, I felt it was important for me to personally let my viewers know. While it's unfortunate, we all worked so hard for this day, and I truly hope my efforts will still show through. It would mean the world to me if you could continue to support me and everyone else in the concert. It's going to be so, so, so fun. Thank you. As also providing a similar message was Rosami Lovelock saying, Hi guys, unfortunately a portion of my appearance in the AR Live pastel stage had to be edited out. Still lots of work was put into it, and it's such a cool first time event for us, so I hope you can all enjoy it. This is next, we turn to Niji Sanja English's Vanta Crowbringer, who had responded to a tweet from Bree, the Gremlin Bunny VTuber, tweeting out, did you guys know I got McDonald's 95 times in the span of three months? Vanta Crowbringer replying, based, to be honest. That tweet receiving backlash, this 16 year old user replying to Vanta with, hey Vanta, assume you might have forgotten, but then once again, providing this image to Vanta Crowbringer, listing a number of companies to act against McDonald's being one of them and Vanta Crowbringer once again in the span of so many weeks replying I did thank you for the reminder I appreciate you this receiving replies like I know you're not forgetting on purpose but please be mindful because it's a pretty serious topic as then the VTuber that Vanta was replying to would be targeted with messages like oh actually before I go to bed who the F brags about this anyways now illustrating that even a Nijisanji talent replying to you puts you in the crosshairs crosshairs that seem did not exist back in December as we have Face Connect's Dizzy Dokoro tweeting out can I please have a Starbucks please please Starbucks being yet another one of these companies being targeted as longtime friend Rosami Lovelock would reply to Dizzy with sigh here is your order ma'am leading to Dizzy to create this graphic of Rosami being a Starbucks barista that all while the members of Hall Live Japan's Gen 3 Hollow Fantasy had recently made a trip overseas and going on to detail their experience with an over sees McDonald's. As also on the receiving end of receiving backlash for tweets regarding McDonald's was Alba Knox, and regarding a stream about Starbucks was Nijisanji English's Scarla Unaguni. Now revealing her expressions after her 3.0 brush up, sharing this face and saying, I discovered a new expression. That adds Vazalius Bandage and Sonny Briscoe are set for their 3.0 brush ups. Vazalius being the first of the crisis group to receive a 3.0. So all next we turn to Nijisanji English's Hex Haywire. Perhaps seeing the profiles change on the Niji Sanji English Liver accounts and asking what the F is going on with Niji Sanji. Then making this post so happy. Always so happy 24-7. Happy always. Rainbow Euphoria. Enjoy life. Not touch starved 24-7. Fulfilled always. Joy smiling. Life butterfly. Wow sunny fun. Happiness. And regarding those remarks that Hex had made on stream with Vanta Crowbringer, many wondering if they were to be perceived as a joke or not. One of the accounts who had originally clipped that moment would go on to delete the tweet of that clip and further later saying, I never meant to hurt anyone. It was a joke and I clipped it as a joke and I've never intended to get anyone harassed or hurt. I feel so responsible for what happened. I really apologize to everyone. This once again, simply coming by way of clipping a part of a stream. Now, speaking of Hex Haywire on stream, here we have Hex discovering an Easter egg in the latest Chilla Art 
horror game, that being the Easter egg of Doki Bird. Now set to collab alongside Snuffy, saying Snuffy is going to give me a tour around Roblox and show me her favorite servers. We wanted to collab a long time ago, and our first idea was Warriors Cats RP, but we were never able to until now, but this time we can explore all the servers and game modes on Roblox. Doki Bird also making this announcement saying, I'm officially partnered with Gamer Subs. We finally have our energy drink sponsor, Dragoons. We are now real gamers, but there's more. We're having an art contest to decide what artwork will be my Waifu Cup merch. The contest will be from April 5th to June 10th with a 7,000 US dollar prize pool for 10 winners chosen by me, Doki Bird. Doki adding the art contest was originally a 5,000 US dollar prize pool that was sponsored by Gamer Subs, but I was so excited and wanted to let more artists have a chance to be picked and compensated that I put down 2,000 US dollars of my own money too. A huge thank you to all your support, Dragoons. Partial owner of Gamer Subs, Shy Lily, saying, Yippee, welcome. This adds Doki Bird is set to participate in her very first Japanese Apex tournament, wherein she'll have the honor of getting shot in the face by Hall Live Japan's Tokuyama Toa. Very quickly, we turn to Quinn, recently finding time to collaborate alongside V Shoujo's Kuro as his VTuber channel, Quinn Bennett Live, has now reached 100,000 subscribers, guaranteeing him another silver play button. This as his years old channel has already received a silver play button. And now long anticipated, we have the return of Niji Sanji English's Pomo Rain Puff. For the past months since having left Niji Sanji tweeting out from here, Dear Skewn account and receiving artwork such as this piece from Moko saying find something to believe in and find it for yourself. When you do, pass it on to the future alongside this corresponding Dear Skin artwork. As to the surprise of many, Pomo's VTuber account from before joining Niji Sanji, that being Made Mint, aka Mint Phantom, a ghost VTuber, had its Twitter account unlocked over the weekend. Made Mint now confirming she is returning on April 4th, the third anniversary of her original graduation as an indie VTuber. That is, Mint is also teaming up with V Shoujo's Matra Khan, now announcing and launching their limited time podcast together. Made Mint confirming she is not a part of V Shoujo and that this series is expected to run throughout the summer of 2024. These two even launched launching merchandise together. Matra Khan stating this merch drop will be on sale for the whole duration of the podcast, so you have at least until the end of the summer. And that's not all, as the two would also launch a Patreon together. Nichi Sanji's Reimu Endo remarking, the underworld feels a bit less cold now. As looking back to the Dear Skun account, while in Japan, she would remark that she was feeling FOMO for not being able to join Hollow Fest, but still finding time to meet up with Hall Live English's Takanashi Kiara under her alias account. Account. The two going on to perform a choreographed dance in front of Tokyo Station. Dear Skin responding to remarks with, You guys can't even see my face. You can't say I'm cute. You don't even know. Matra Khan replying to the two with, Cuties, cuties, cuties. Kisses, kisses, kisses. Wow, wow, wow. Dear Skin also taking time to meet up with the talents behind Fuwamoko. After saying thank you, I know you both have been so busy with the move. I had so much fun being silly together. While also finding time to meet up with Kana Uru. Showing off this signature illustration and saying, She even drew toes. Why is she so weird? Dear Skin replying, I told you adding the toes would make it worth more. As after, she would tweet, My days have been filled with cute girls and Metal Gear. Am I allowed to be this happy? I don't deserve this happiness. Mint now going on to plan a new Metal Gear playthrough series, as she will be staying with Matra Khan, who is also playing through the series. This all while just before leaving Japan, Dear Skin would hold a Twitter space in which she stated that after leaving her previous job, she had learned some form of information that she had found to be traumatic. Further detailing on Twitter, tonight I pack for me going back home in the next few days. Thank you all again for following me on these crazy two months. They were so short and also felt so long. I did so many things and met so many people. I went outside of my comfort zone so many times, but I could also meet some new and old friends because of it. It wasn't a perfect experience, and like I said in my previous Twitter space, I am leaving more confused than sure about the future. I came to study here to not only be productive in the small time I took off in between jobs, but also to better understand what I want to do. I don't know. I'm really confused. But that's okay too. Life finds a way. I'm still so surprised by the amount of people who are following here and willing to listen to my stories and read my posts. I have a lot of anxiety about doing things as quote-unquote myself. And I'm always desperately trying to get away from myself as possible. I hate myself and most would do anything to be another person or be a character. I'm weak and I'm anxious 
anxious and I've made mistakes and I'm just not a good person. I only have this account to talk about my Oshis, yet you're still here. Why? As I stated before, this account will mostly go back to being my Oshikatsu account. Maybe sometimes a pick of my cat or something. But back home, I don't do anything super exciting, so there won't be much to tweet about. But please continue supporting my Oshis. I'm still so anxious, so I don't think I'll be able to look at notifications for the next few days. Thank you for the silliness these past two months. Lastly, adding, I realize maybe this is super dramatic to post for something so simple. Lamau. But please understand, I've been through several life-changing events back-to-back. -back. I'm kind of emotional. As that is all for this episode, as always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send in your VTuber news to our Discord, as we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon. I need you. I really need you. I, I need you to understand that one, I want you for myself. Okay. And two, you have to accept that I have a I have a pee.